it is almost Halloween time, so I thought that today would be the perfect day to go ahead and do my annual pumpkin carving. That way I can get it ready for the upcoming trick-or-treaters. So in order to get this big pumpkin carved this year, I am going to use some of your standard little tools that would come into like a little pumpkin carving set. But I'm also gonna use some of the unconventional tools too at the house that I'm gonna hopefully help make my life a little easier. One is going to be this little drywall saw. I used this last year and it definitely cut through the pumpkin a whole lot quicker than what this little guy would have done. My other little tool I'm gonna use, I'm gonna get heavy duty, I'm gonna break out the drill this year. Instead of using a little scooper and taking forever to get all the inside and the guts out, I'm going to, we have this um, electric mixer beater attached to the drill and in theory, when it turns on, it's just gonna get all those guts and it's gonna take it out super quick for me. So hopefully, with this big monster, it's not going to take a super long time to go ahead and get it carved the way that I'd like to get it carved this year. So this year also I'm going to try one more thing different in, in regards to carving the pumpkin. Instead of, you know, in years past I've always done this top part and then you'd have this nice little handle to lift on and off with the stock. And But the problem with that is after a few days being outside in the sun and the weather, this, it always seems to, you know, kind of droop and then it falls in and it doesn't stay up. And so by the time the trick or treaters come in, your poor pumpkin looks awful. I am going to this year take the bottom out. I'm going to cut a hole in the bottom and then take all the guts out that way so that when I'm finished, all I got to do is just lift the pumpkin up and down on top of the lights and I don't have to worry about it sagging. And it should last a whole lot better by the time when the trick or treaters get to come. I've gotten the pumpkin flipped to the side and I have my little drywall saw actually into it so that I can go ahead and start carving it and cutting the bottom. So let's just go ahead and start going around. You can tell that this is going to be a whole lot quicker than that little bitty saw that would have came in a pumpkin carving kit because it's just like slicing through it like butter. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it so you can see it just instantly fell in after just a couple you know just going around very very quickly so now the next part's going to be is we're gonna go ahead and take this the bottom part out but we do have a lot of guts in there and so for me to be able to do what I need to do with the the drill and the the beater mixer I'm going to go ahead and move it from the countertop to the floor just so that I can have a better angle and do a better job at getting out all the guts I've gone ahead and moved from the countertop to the floor. That way I can just be at a more steady and I'll have a better angle at going ahead and getting this done. Like I said before, I'm gonna go ahead and use a drill this year. I have an electric um, mixer beater that I'm gonna go in and we're gonna see if we can't get the guts cleaned out a little quicker than what's in the past. I've never done this before, so I'm not really sure how it's gonna turn out, but surely it's gonna be a whole lot quicker than doing one of these little jobs all by hand. So let's just give it a shot. Oh yeah, I can tell you that this is gonna make it a whole lot quicker. I know you can't see it in there, but it's just like breaking all of it out very quickly. This is definitely a whole lot faster and easier. We're gonna go ahead and start digging some of these out so that I can go ahead and roll it and then we'll be able to actually start cutting on the pumpkin face a whole lot quicker than I ever have in the past. Definitely slimy and gooey. Okay, I think I've got it to where I'm gonna be able to go ahead and roll it. I went ahead and flipped it, but I also moved back on the countertop because I wanted to actually show you guys the inside of the pumpkin and how fantastic this drill and the little beater mixer works. It's amazing how quick. So hopefully we can get a good view and you can just see it's just eating all of that up very, very quickly. And I'm definitely not having to put a whole lot of effort. I'm catching my finger on the trigger. Trigger. When you think you got what you need, you can go ahead and keep this kind of turning it. Hours will be saved. Completely 
cleaned out. It is getting a little darker, as you can tell. Things have changed a little. The next step that I have left to do is we're gonna go ahead and get this bottom part cleared off in case I wanna be able to use the bottom of it after I put the pumpkin outside. And then we're gonna go ahead and start carving out the face. I usually don't like to show you what the face looks like until I'm all the way done. So that's why it's gonna stay towards me after I um, begin the carving process. So it can be a little, little surprise when it's um, all the way finished. But we're gonna go ahead and take this little bit of um, this bottom part off. I did have to break out just this little one, you know, just a little bit of fine tuning. Just clear enough of it off so that it can go back in the pumpkin. And then we can go ahead and start um, getting the face cut. While I'm doing this portion of it, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. We did get um, email notification. The, key, the calendars have been shipped and we should be getting them very, very soon within the next week. The website is almost 100% ready to be launched. The photos have already arrived and we're just waiting for you know a few minor details. There will be a little surprise with the calendar. Um, I know that it's already getting the end of October-ish, first of November, so don't worry with that little surprise. Um, it'll be a good one for you guys. So with this cleared off, now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start working on the face so that we can get this big old pumpkin taken care of. when everything kind of comes into place. Definitely using the, the way we did on the inside, it helped thin that pumpkin out too, so it will be a whole lot easier to go ahead and uh, get this face out. I'm here to start working on this now. I did switch back to a little pumpkin carving, a little saw just because well, I wanted to make sure that I could do a better job cutting the mouth and I didn't want to have to worry about breaking anything. I'm sure the other little drywall saw would have been a whole lot faster, but I'm not sure how good I would have done on it. I would have probably ended up with a very damaged face breaking through at some spots. Also like to just thank everybody that keeps watching our videos while I'm cutting this out. We truly love what we're doing. We love being able to share some of our adventures with you guys. As you can tell, you just never know what what we're going to be up to and what kind of a video we might get out there for you guys. So thank you to those of you that keep coming back and checking out things. Thank you to those that are new and have started watching some of our older videos. I'm up there. There we go. I've been working on the face for just a little bit now. I am almost finished with it. I have just a few more cuts and then I'm gonna be able to show you what my pumpkin ended up being looking like for this Halloween to set up for all the trick-or-treaters. and then I'll be able to show you what we've come up with for this year's pumpkin. Okay, are you ready to see what it looks like? All right, I have finished the pumpkin for this Halloween. I'm gonna spin it so you guys can see what the end result looks like. What do you think? It looks pretty awesome if you ask me. Really happy with the way it turned out. This one was a lot quicker than I have in the past thanks to all the extra little tools that are unconventional that I use. I am going to spin it around and we're going to go ahead and put a candle in it and see if it can glow and what it'll look like when the candle in it. Okay. Cutting this bottom part out makes it a whole lot easier too. All I've got to do is just barely lift it up and set it back in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this light and we'll spin it around. Lights are out. Hopefully, there's still enough light in here that you can see with the GoPro what it'll look like when it's all lit up outside. Pretty awesome. Thanks again for um, watching. I hope that you truly enjoyed um, this video, my Halloween creation. 
As always, we really appreciate those of you that do watch. Um, we want to wish everybody a safe and upcoming Halloween. Enjoy yourself and keep watching. Thanks again.